Perfection is defined as a state or quality of being free or as free as possible from all flaws or defects. Imperfection is defined as a state of being faulty or incomplete. I suppose that means being deaf makes you as close to imperfect and as far away from perfection as you can get. I live a normal life. I do everything everyone else does. I wake up in the morning just like everyone else does. I wash my face and brush my teeth and eat my cereal just like everyone else does. I laugh and I cry just like everyone else does. I eat and sleep and study and play just like everyone else does. I try to be grateful for all that I have, but sometimes my normal life just doesn't seem normal enough. I used to be able to hear when I was younger, but I have degenerative hearing loss, so I haven't been able to hear since I was a child. You don't think about it when you have something valuable, but when you lose it, you will do anything in the world to get it back. I feel like I took my hearing for granted when I was younger, and that's something I can never get back. I try to replay voices in my head, but the only ones I can remember are my mother's. I have friends who live the same life as I do. They have the same daily routine as I do. The difference is, they talk to each other about these things. They talk about how good that new album is, or how trash that new show is. They talk about school and how hard that test was. They talk about how bad the bulls are and how fun last night was. They talk and they talk, and even though you can't hear, all you do is listen. It never gets easy. It's hard to see your friends do things so normally while you stay stuck on the outside. It's frustrating. I can't hear, but people make it seem like I can't function properly. I feel pain just the same way as they do. My emotions seem to be worthless because no one knows about them, but they're still there. People have trouble understanding me. They feel bad, not because I can't hear, but because I'm not like them. I don't want people feeling bad for me. I just want them to understand me. I want them to understand my pain and my struggle. I want them to feel my happiness. I want them to just recognize my feelings, but no one does. They think they do, but they don't. No one does. There's no one to turn to. You want to talk, but there's no one there to listen. When you put your faith in individuals, you'll almost always be let down. It's hard for them to understand you, but I look for refuge in Allah. He is my perfection in this imperfect world. The one who created you is the only one who truly understands your pain and your suffering, your happiness and your joy. I forget about my struggles when I submit to him. He grants peace to my heart and refuge for my soul. He hears my thoughts even if the words don't come out of my mouth. Allah has granted me with a blessing that I would never be able to thank him enough for. Someone who understands me. Someone who loves me unconditionally and without limits. The love of a mother cannot be measured. After a long day, when everything seems to go wrong, she provides me with comfort and peace. When the whole world seems against you, your mother will remain by your side. I can't hear, but I understand everything she wants to tell me. I can't imagine a life without her, and I don't think I'd be able to live a life without her. The life I live is a result of the life she gave me. And then one day, in the blink of an eye, I lost her. I lost a part of myself. I lost a piece of my heart and my soul, and for someone who doesn't have much already, this can break you. My mother was all that I had. She was my backbone and my only reason to smile. Losing her was the worst thing that could have happened to me. When someone you love becomes a memory, those memories become treasures you wouldn't trade for the entire world. You do your best to recall their smile, their laughs and their cries, their anger and their joy. You play a memory, pause it, rewind it, and do it all over again. The problem is that sometimes you can recall their smile, but you're not able to hear their laugh in your head. In a world filled with imperfection, she was my perfection. I didn't have anyone to lean on but her. And now, she's been taken away from me. Allah does not do anything without reason. He is the epitome of perfection. He took away my mother, but he relieved her of all the pain she was feeling in this world. 
and I knew she was in the hands of the Most Merciful. He took away my hearing so that I would be shielded from all the negativity and hatred that this world has to offer, and this was a blessing in disguise. For me, there was never any perfection. I was produced with a major flaw. People look at me and they see a damaged product. In a world filled with imperfections, I was the most imperfect. People felt that I was incomplete, worthless, and a mistake. I hear those things every day, and I'm not gonna lie, it gets to me sometimes. But Allah is perfect, and if the Creator is perfect, the creation is made perfectly. I may have some flaws and too many shortcomings, but I was produced perfectly by the one who makes no mistakes. The voice you hear now is the voice in my head. But now, all they don't want to hear are my mother's voice and Allah's words.